Grand Rapids is the yeah, I mean, those kind of the roots, and I wonder what that what that means. I don't think that I don't think Grand Rapids was it. No. I don't, I, you know, we might start it there, but I don't think Grand Rapids was it because because we we didn't have all the things that we needed. Even matter of fact, I even went to prison for helping my son. I mean, I mean, it wasn't for me. It was for my son. I would, you know, I'd make sure he had the boots he wanted, the shoes he wanted, the gloves he wanted. I make sure he had everything he needed. So you know, and I went, I went, I went, I went, I went to prison for you know doing things that I shouldn't have been doing. But hey, it's hey, hey it, it was that way or no way. So, and I, These are things you felt like you needed for your son that you were doing this. Yeah, but there's a lot of things that I needed to do for my son. I mean, it might have been a few other little things that I had to do, but my son always came first. You know? Did you ever, you ever talk to him about that, about your motivation and what led to I ain't got to tell him about that because that, that's already been spoken about in the... Uh, um, it already been spoken about before anyway about me going to prison and and, uh, and uh, of course my thing is, is uh, Floyd, Floyd Floyd he understood everything and how things were and how things went and uh, he understood everything, so he was, uh, he was, and he, he continued to be strong even though, he continued to be strong even after I left and went to prison. How tough do things get financially for the family? For, huh? How tough do things get financially for the family? He, I think at one point talked about seven people being in one room and, um... Well, my son, that particular thing, and he's talking about seven people being in the room. I don't know anything about that. Because, as far as I know, when me and his mother stayed together, it was him at one time. It was him and his sister. That was in the house that I lived in with my son. Now he might be talking about my mother's house. He might be talking about my mother's house, but he didn't exactly stay there. He he stayed over there from time to time, but that wasn't that wasn't the place where he lived. He lived there where I stayed. So all that stuff about people. How much how much did you communicate with Floyd when you were in prison? Uh, quite a bit. I, I, uh, I uh, would call it sometimes. Uh, uh, we had a good response with each other um, all through my prison time. I did, I did three and a half years.